Line freezing as a solution is not a one size fits all. There are definitely some criteria that need to be met in order to achieve a successful line freeze and also just to consider it as a solution. First off, you need a line that is full of a freezable medium and that has been in no flow condition. Ideally, there's a pipe that has two isolation points blocking the fluid process. The advantage of using an ice plug is that we get to select the location for the isolation, which in turn minimizes the amount of process that needs to be drained. In any facility that has a free freezable medium as part of its process, line freezing or an ice plug is an excellent method to create that isolation. Whether you're creating an isolation to perform a repair, like on a leaking valve or a passing valve, or even a piping modification, line freezing technology is proven and an effective and cost-effective way to create that isolation. My recommendation when considering any type of isolation project, considering cost, safety, and schedule, always consider the cold work option before hot work. One of the most reliable and readily available cold work options is line freezing. So when evaluating any isolation potential, I would always start there. Go through the checklist. Do I have freezable medium? And is there a no flow condition? If both those criteria are met, then likelihood of a successful freeze is high and that's where we should start. If either of those two come back as a negative, then we move on to another cold work option and eventually reaching our hot work option. I recommend evaluating the hot work option last just because it does increase your cost, it does increase schedule, and ultimately has more risk involved than completing cold work.